let's see, I'm uh, still on my little uh, uh, Wayman Lou, and uh, we were doing tutorials this week, and I'm doing the tutorials on uh, form and analysis and chord structure. Um, back at the turn of the century, the other turn of the century, and uh, Tim Pan Alley and American Songbook and all that, and jazz standards, movie themes, they were written by people who were really composers, who really could write music. They weren't written by, uh, when they started out with this, these rock groups that had, and, and different kind of groups that had small groups that a guitar player could play, and they, words became important for them for some reason or other, and all that kind of stuff. They, they started doing stuff that that just whatever came to the mind, and then a guitar player learned another chord and stuck it in, and that sort of thing. That's not what music was. Music was an industry before that. And they, in studying it, as I did, I went to music school until I was 26 years old, 27 years old. And uh, I studied uh, classical composition and all that. And so we analyzed everything and found form for it. So I was before doing uh, D minor 7, G minor 7, C7, we want candy, you know, like blue moon, so me standing alone, you know, and, and all those different kind of songs. So wait, the song I did was, uh, before, was Beyond the Sea, somewhere. somewhere and and so I found another one here this one's one that um, is a little simpler than the other one it's complicated because of what the music should have been back in those days but it, this is from a Broadway production called the Jamma game and it's called hey there and it was sung by uh, uh, George Clooney's aunt Rosemary Clooney she had a big hit on it and it was by uh, Richard uh, Adler and Jerry Ross. So anyway, it starts out like, hey there, F to D minor 7, G minor 7, you with a C7, stars in your eyes, D minor, G minor 7, love never made. Now it alters here because it goes up from this, I'm an F and I'm on a C7, it goes up to a D7, fool of you. And that goes to the G minor. You used to be too wise. And guess what? It goes to the key of A. Hey there. You on that high flying cloud. Though she won't throw a crumb to you. Now it goes up to an A7 and it starts a cycle to come out to get back. Up to you, you think someday she'll come to you. G minor 7, C7 better for, and that gets you back to the F. Get her. G minor 7, G minor. Her with her nose in the air. That's a C with seven. Here comes the D seven on the string. G minor seven. Break it and she won't care. C minor seven. C minor nine. F seven. Won't you up to the B flat? Take this advice. Be a very shy hand like a brother. Or are you G minor 7? I think it's too clear. B flat minor. Are you F? Too much in love. C minor. To hear the D7. I is it. G minor 7 all the way. And one G minor 7 here. And C7 and I've got a flat nine, uh, yeah, flat nine on the bottom. And uh, the, now it goes to other. It's a fun little tune. Hey there, you with the stars in your eyes. Uh, yes. Going 
to the A. Hey there, you are the high flying cloud. Seven back to the hill. to repeat itself and as it repeats itself it adds a steaded ending onto it so where you've gotten from before after it starts after it's going through the F and then going through the A and come out and see something better if we're going to it's back down the end here it is then here goes she old is the extension won't you be flat to take this advice? Be diminished. I had to be like I am. Climbs down to the D7. Are you G minor? Uh, yeah, G minor. Thanks to clear. B flat minor. Are you? Uh, I'd love to hear. Climbs around to get to the D7. Is it all going in one ear? That's the form. 